Hi, I'm Elizabeth of Product Sense. We tear down user experiences from across the web with the mission of making the web a more user-friendly place. Whether you are evaluating a product or even building your own product, we're super glad to have you here. Today, we're going to review Hey Email by Basecamp, which is a new email client. We'll walk through each step of my framework and we'll evaluate each component. My favorite product metric is the grit score. How gritty do I need to be to get to that beautiful, magical success state on your platform? Do I need to put in 10 minutes worth of effort on our score of zero to 10? That's like a one, that's great. I only need to put in 10 minutes. Do I need to put in one hour? In which case, that's like a five. Do I need to put in two, three, four hours? Then that's a 10, that's very high to expect your prospective customer to put in two, three, four hours worth of effort to get to a beautiful success state. Not many customers are going to do that. So with every percentage, with every number increase of the grit score, with every five, 10 minutes that you expect the customer to put in to using a tutorial, to not understanding your design conventions, customers are going to fall off because if they can't get to that success state fast, they're going to fall off. So the lower the, your number for a grit score is, the higher your prospective customers will stay with you. The Hey Email Grit Score, I'm going to give as a six. And that's because I had to spend an hour, an hour and a half's worth of time to actually get to that beautiful success state. So let's look at the website of the product. For clear CTA color for design, I thought it was very simple. With the white background, with the purple to blue gradient, I thought it was very simple to use and showed a real light design. And it was very clear to me that I could be super, super efficient on this platform immediately. I wasn't a big, big fan of the underline, but that's just me. For message strength, I look at are they addressing the strength of my pain point? How annoyed I am by whatever problem I'm facing? And is there a clear persona inside that message? Is there a clear type of person that they're addressing? One ICP, one persona type. And I found that with Hey Email, they blew this out of the park. They really, really addressed my pain points so, so strongly that I was, I was just so over the moon at at reading their their landing page. It, it was like, it felt like a love letter to me. That's how great it was. It was so fantastic that I tried to sign up for an email. I actually emailed them right there. That's unheard of for me. So I was very, very impressed with the message strength of their landing page. For pricing, I look for a clear pricing structure. Are there upsells? What are the features in premium? Do I understand why I need those features in premium? And for Hey Email, they did a really great job of explaining why they're charging $99 a year for personal email. They said that Google, Apple, Outlook, they all sell your data and that Hey Email was gonna be different. They were not gonna sell my data. Now. It wasn't news to me that all those companies are selling my data, but I was like, oh my gosh, that's how I'm paying for my free email. My Gmail is being sold to advertisers. That's really bad. That's really hard and frustrating. So yes, I would pay $99 a year for Hey Email because they're not gonna sell my data. That's great. For trial signup process, I look for a couple of things. Don't make me enter in my credit card information. Cardinal rule, please don't make me go find my wallet right now. We're in quarantine. I have no idea where it is. Number two, please don't make me go and talk to a salesperson. They're going to ask me a bunch of generic questions and I would hate that. And then number three, please don't make me enter in 10 to 15 fields about my company, my employment status, the number of employees within my company. Just give me access to your product. I thought Hey Email was pretty good in this format. They did have me go to Gmail, send them an email to get my promo code. But ultimately when I got my promo code, it was very easy for me to sign up and get started. Now let's get started with the platform. I will be looking at the first time user experience in FTUX. For an FTUX, I evaluate magic moments. And a magic moment is a clear value add of something I couldn't get or would have to work much harder to get on this platform. I evaluate magic moments in two areas, on the one minute mark and on the five minute mark. 
For the one minute magic moment, I didn't really see anything substantial. Um, there was a clear inbox for the first time in a while and it looked beautiful, but I didn't really get anything immediately valuable to me. At the five minute magic moment, I was looking for a way to export all my primary emails into Hey Emails inbox. And I also came into a really difficult point there where I didn't know how to forward all of my primary emails into Hey Emails so that I could start selecting them into this is not spam versus this is spam. Um, send me email versus don't send me email. And this was one of the most major frustrations on the platform where I was so excited, I got going and then it was like, okay, actually I can't export the bulk of my important emails to tell, hey, email, what is and it is not important. So the five minute magic moment was also completely lost on me. I'm giving hey email a score of six. I found two things very frustrating. Number one, hey email will pull in and say, do you want these types of emails sent to you or not? So I was looking forward to doing that beautiful screening process. And unfortunately I couldn't because I couldn't export my 721 important primary emails from Gmail and into hey email. And that was really quite annoying. I was frustrated that Hey Email didn't have a feature to be able to help me out there. And then the second thing was, I'm sure that Hey Email had beautiful onboarding guides, but they slapped all six onboarding emails into my inbox immediately when I entered the platform. And that was very annoying because I had to read every single one of them and then try to apply it. It was just a lot of information overload where I would have expected something more, okay, every day you're going to get one email about how to use this platform. Here's one new feature every day. And it didn't feel gamified like that. It didn't feel like I was gradually learning. It just felt like, here's the information, you go figure it out. So ultimately I was a little frustrated. Oh my God, you've gotten all the way to the end, like the entire video, that's great. Uh, hopefully you've learned a lot about product teardowns and about the framework that I use to evaluate different products. I am very positive I've missed many features within Hey Email, so if I did, please comment below, tell me how I can improve. And if you have an idea for a product teardown for a product that you would like me to do a first time user experience on, give me a shout out at judgmentday at productmindset.xyz. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.